Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about cloud tech and AI. And today we're diving into a platform that you must know about if you're doing anything to do with AI. It is Hugging Face. Now Hugging Face has been called the GitHub of machine learning and for all the great reasons. It is literally becoming the community where AI models and creations are shared across everybody. So by the end of this video, you will understand what it is exactly and why it matters to you, even if you are not somebody who codes every day. So stick around. All right, so this is the Hugging Face homepage. And the first thing that you'll notice in here is their tagline, which is the AI community building the future. That really sums up what they're really about, right? It's a collaborative platform where people are sharing AI tools, models, data sets, and even AI apps. Now, if you scroll down, you're able to see features, models that are trending and recently uploaded content. Um, and this gives you the taste of what's popular in the AI community. And before we dive deeper, I would recommend that you sign up and create an account because you would need one. Uh, most of the content you'll be able to just see uh, without uh, having an account. But if you want to use the models and save your favorites and things like that, you will need an account. Now, um, going into the models tab, this is where all the models are found. You can see that they've got millions of models in here and you can filter them by different tasks in the categories like natural language processing and classification and audio and tabular. And you could also filter them by libraries and data sets and languages and licenses. Now here, let's check out uh, Microsoft's popular um, Phi 4 reasoning model and I wanted to see how far I can go with this. So each model has got its own page with documentation and I clicked on deploy and it literally just took me right away into the machine learning studio in Azure AI. And I was asked to create a workspace and as soon as I gave it all the details with the name and everything, um, it was able to create that workspace for me and deployed that model, the 5.4 model uh, from Hugging Face into Azure AI machine learning studio. That was absolutely amazing. It just, it just took me a few clicks to do this. And you can see it's creating that now. And once it is created, I can go to the workspace. And in this workspace, if I click on endpoints, if I click on endpoints, I'm able to go into Azure OpenAI service. And that's where my 5.4 endpoint is. And if I want to use this endpoint, I can click on continue. And that takes me into Azure AI Foundry, where I'll be able to um, experiment with this, with this deployed model. It, tells me my target URL, the key that it created for me. I'm able to see how to use this with my API key and um, some samples of how to use this model. Um, I am also able to go play with it in the playground and test it out. So I gave it a prompt um, and um, I was really trying to go with like the uh, dog traveling uh, to the mountains where he meets a robot and uh, that robot is helping a bird um, survive in the cold um, and they all become friends for life. So um, I was just playing around with, with uh, a prompt. But the idea here is that you're able to go from looking at a model in Hugging Face to actually able to deploy that model in Azure AI Found, uh, Foundry and uh, Azure AI Machine Learning Studio. Um, and then I clicked on deploy that um, endpoint as a web application. And right now, that is what you're seeing um, with the Azure AI web application being created um, as a part of this deployment. And it's able to deploy a web application right from that, um, that model and endpoint that we just created. 
once the model, this takes seconds, maybe a minute or so to, to get created with the deployment assets and stuff, things like that. And once the app is deployed, I'm able to see that app in Azure AI Foundry in my web apps section. There it is, the 5-4 experiment. I click on that app and there we have it, an entire chat application built from Hugging Face, choosing a model, 5-4 reasoning, goes into Azure AI Machine Learning Studio Foundry and builds it out for me as a web application. Going back into our Hugging Face interface, we're able to, uh, let's look at the, the the data sets tab. Now this tab is where all your data sets are. There are thousands of these in there and um, you can preview the samples in there. You can also filter the data sets of, through languages, tasks, libraries, all of that. Um, and then if you click on one, you're able to actually see the samples of, that, of the data set um, and start using them. Um, and now the next thing is one of my favorites, which is the spaces section of Hugging Face. Now this is where things get really, really exciting, especially for non-coders. So spaces is this interactive AI application that anyone can use right within the Hugging Face browser experience. And think of them as like ready to use AI tools. I clicked on one here, which is called describe anything um, in uh, by created by NVIDIA. And when you go into that model, again, right in the browser, I'm not doing anything else. I can upload an image. And uh, once I do that, um, I can type my description and I can get my description for, for the regions of my images. This is my dog sitting on a chair in a park. And um, I selected different parts of that image. And um, this model is able to, this demo is able to tell me what are in these different parts. Um, I selected the tree first, and then I selected my dog himself. And uh, it was able to do a really good job at uh, telling me what is in this image. Um, and if I wanted, I can take this space and deploy it for myself, whether locally or, um, or in cloud. Um, and, but before we do that, let's look at another example. So I go back into my spaces. I can really um, you know, categorize by image generation, 3D modeling, all the different options up top. Um, and I went into stable diffusion, which is another one of the very common and very popular libraries and generate of uh, image generation models. And um, I tested this one out right here in spaces with a prompt, serene lake at sunset with mountains in the background and a golden retriever watching the sunset. I let it generate the image. And there we have it. Um, I don't know if I like the first one, the second one's okay. Um, but it, it did what I wanted it to do. Um, and let's say I'm happy with, with what it's looking I love the third and the fourth images. Um, they really do what I asked it to do. The, the good part, the best part, the part that I want to show you is I can run this space. Let's say I like it. I can run it locally. I can run it. Um, I can clone the repo um, and, uh, and start working with it right from here, just like how we deployed the, um, the 5.4 model in Azure AI. And uh, with that, um, let's look at the docs. The docs section is uh, your knowledge center. This is where you are going to get deep deeper technical information. The docs are organized by different categories like the client libraries, deployment interface, core ML libraries like the transformers, which is one of the very famous libraries, diffusers, tokenizers, um, and a lot more like radio. Um, and then the next thing, the last thing I want to talk to you about is the community section. This is where people ask questions and share ideas and learn. The blog part of the, of the community is amazing. You'll see a lot of people contributing to the blogs and you'll see um, what's happening right now um, and, and what's hot right now. Then the learn section is one of my favorites. The LLM course and the agent course are some of the best courses out there on AI and machine learning right now. The LLM course goes from transformers all the way up to fine tuning. And then the agent course covers everything from intro to agents, 
to, to a lot more. So that, my friends, was Hugging Face. And we've toured every major section of the platform, whether you are just curious about AI, want to use existing models, or are developing something with AI, or want to contribute, Hugging Face is definitely a platform to check out. Now go explore. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button to get more tech and AI content. And drop a comment if you have questions and which AI platform I should cover next. And thank you for watching. See you next time.